condenser microphones versus dynamic microphones in gaming headsets that can be used with the ham radio. I am not paid for this video and the products shown here have not been sponsored. This one shown here is a Lioncast LX55. So this gaming headset is provided with a microphone which falls in the category of the condenser or also known as capacitor microphones together with the electret microphones. These kind of microphones require the so-called phantom power. Basically what this means is that a voltage is required either by a battery or an external power in order for them to function properly. So the jack that it's provided with goes into a Y cable which splits into two jacks respectively. One is for the ear part of the headset and the other one goes into the microphone input on the ham radio. Similar to the previous gaming headset, this one is the Corsair HS50 and it has a microphone which falls in the same category of the condenser or capacitor or electric microphones meaning that a voltage is required for them to operate correctly either by battery or external power. In our case when we use it with a ham radio this one could go into a Y cable and the Y cable splitting then into the input, mic input in the ham radio and to the headphones. Uh, the implication is that the radio will have to provide a voltage for the microphone. In this last example, a Corsair Virtuoso RGB SE wireless. Now, obviously in order for it to be wireless, it must have some form of power inside. But the wireless capability is not the object of this video. What we want to concentrate on is the microphone. I checked Corsair's website and I did not find a straight definition of the microphone being of dynamic microphones type. I did, however, find the term dynamic used in conjunction with the description of the microphone, hinting to the fact that if this really is a dynamic microphone, it requires no internal amplification, no batteries, no external power whatsoever in order for it to work as designed. The purpose of the Y cable is obviously to connect the jack coming from the microphone of the headset to the connector on the radio. This particular Y cable shown here additionally has a condenser inside to isolate the microphone on the headset from any power which could be coming from the transceiver. I will open this cable up in a moment. Here it is. This Y cable has a capacitor inside. This capacitor is an attached along the line of the microphone. The purpose of this capacitor is to block power coming from the transceiver to a microphone of dynamic type. A dynamic microphone should not be fed external power. A cable of this sort with a capacitor inside would protect the microphone, the dynamic microphone, from being exposed to external power. In conclusion, the dynamic microphones require no external power in order to function as designed. Keywords to look out for are dynamic and neodyme. On the other hand, condenser or capacitor or electric microphones do require phantom power. 